Okay, hello guys. Today I'm gonna go ahead and review this jacket and this cap. This is from the Undercover Supreme, which is uh, last week Thursday drop. And first, I got this cap. As you can see, there's a denim detail. Undercover Supreme on Taiwan. There's a stud going on, on the cap. It's not. I think it's not that bad. If this was like covered with the studs, a bunch of studs, I'll probably um, hesitate to get it. But there was just one line of the studs going around the cap, so it's not bad. It's black colorway. You can see undercover Supreme logo, and there's another colorway which uh, with the brown camo. I picked this up, and also I didn't pick any T-shirts. Cause I just didn't really like it or I tried to buy the pants but I failed it was kind of sold out quick and this one was sitting for freaking what two days one day or two days after drop so it was easy to cop so here so this is the jacket the popper jacket with the leather sleeve this is the undercover's unique design one of their uh, popper jacket so in the middle is the nylon popper and uh, as you can see there's undercover and spring and some skull logo now, i didn't know this was a velcro and i'm gonna put a picture for a second this jacket the studs on the leather sleeves and this kind of name tape or this logo it's not new design, it's also coming from the undercovers um, drop, their drop in the past. Probably we can see it from the undercoverism, but actual undercover brand. They had a dissimilar design studs on the sleeves and this, this is skull logo. This, and I got size large. There's a cover, undercover logo, and for sizing, I recommend a regular size or true to size because of the this their jacket, their 30th, 30th anniversary jacket. I went one size up, but I misunderstood because this is Japanese sizing and this is the US sizing, so I should have got medium, but it's okay, not bad. And if you see the leather sleeve, there's a rider's jacket detail on the arm sleeves. Over here, inside there's a nylon with a little padding inside. There's a stud. And inside there's a, like a one chest pocket. And here there's a little message saying the worn appearance of the leather is intended. So yeah. And when I looked at it, they said this is cow leather, cow hide, but if I compare <coughs> the quality from the 30th anniversary, I think this sleep jacket quality is not that great as uh, the actual undercover jacket. And it feels like it's kind of painted. I don't know if this is a painted or they really washed it. But yeah. This is the jacket. Oh, and the bottom. Oh yeah, there's a two pocket. Bottom, there's the string that you can adjust the size. And here on the back. On the back, it looks like this. Sorry about that. And the bottom, you will see undercover Sprint 23, anti-war. It's like this. And the one of the difference from the extra jacket from the undercover is the shoulder part. I kind of explained it before. They use this, uh, the knit between the sleeve and the shoulder. They use this to um, hold the weight of the leather sleeves 
and also create silhouettes like a drop shoulder silhouettes but here they just stitched it they didn't put the knit between the sleeve and the actual the body of the jacket if they had the sleeve going on like this jacket it would be perfect but it's okay not bad and also the color is kind of similar to one of the 30th anniversary jacket or other uh, undercover jacket from the past black and uh, washed or worn leather sleeve a kind of grayish yeah so i try to um compare these two like side like this but yeah so that's a size two medium and that's a large the sleep length is longer than that and then the width or the chest is way bigger but this one i really couldn't uh, have a hoodie inside but this one, I think I can get a hoodie inside in the winter time. <laughs> yeah, so <clears throat> if you guys didn't know about the design, unique design from the undercover, it's really a um, great design. And I really love the silhouettes and I really love the Jun Takashi's idea that he mixed the puffer jacket and the leather jacket together. Yeah. Dang, I wish I had that medium, but it's fine. I'm gonna go ahead to the try it on video with the hat. So, thank you for watching and see you next time, guys. Bye.